everybody, this is Margot McDermott. I'm here in Springfield for the second week of veto session. It's been an interesting week. We spent a lot of time yesterday talking about sexual harassment, and I'm on my way to sexual harassment training that's been mandated for all the representatives. We have to go right now. Uh, today we had another interesting vote about property tax relief. This was, in my opinion, a fake bill. This is the 18th time we voted on property tax relief. All these bills are designed to uh, get people on votes that can be used in mailers against them at the next campaign. The bill didn't provide any real property relief for most taxpayers in District 37, and here's why. Um, what's exempted from any property tax freeze are payments made by local governments for pensions, payments made to service debt, and payments uh, or taxes required by any school district that's on the watch list. The biggest school district in my uh, District 37 is Lincoln Way School District 210, which is on the financial watch list. So anyone who pays property taxes to District 210 would not be getting any property tax relief from that school taxing district. Because this bill was not offering real relief to most of the taxpayers in my district, I had to vote no on this bill. I'm hoping that real property tax relief for all the property taxpayers in District 37 will come up for a vote soon. There are many bills like that that are caught in Rules Committee. The only ones that come, ever come out onto the floor of the House are these what I call fake bills that don't offer you any real relief. I'm going to fight for real property tax relief for everybody in my district. That's it for, for now from uh, Springfield. Bye.